James Madison, one of the nation's key founding fathers, also served two terms as America's fourth president. James Madison is often called the father of the Constitution. James Madison was born on March 16, 1751, at Belgrove Plantation in Virginia. He attended Princeton University. In 1780, James Madison became the youngest member of the Continental Congress and was instrumental in arranging the 1787 National Convention to write a constitution for the new nation. James Madison came up with this idea, known as the Virginia Plan, the system for bicameral legislature, which gave representation on population in the House of Representatives and to the states in the Senate. Madison introduced the idea of checks and balances, that no one part of the government or no one person should have all of the political power enshrined in them. After the convention, Madison, Alexander Hamilton, and John Jay began writing numerous articles, now called the Federalist Papers, to convince the states to ratify this new constitution. The Federalist Papers were important because they established the principles that a strong national government was needed to move the country past the Articles of Confederation and toward a new system of government. In 1789, as a member of the House of Representatives, James Madison wanted transparency in government, and to that end, he introduced the Bill of Rights. During his time in Congress, Madison met and married his wife, Dolly. In 1797, Madison left politics and retired to his home in Virginia, Montpelier. He returned to politics in 1801, when his longtime friend, Thomas Jefferson, asked him to be his Secretary of State. While Secretary of State, James Madison's greatest challenge was to prevent the kidnapping of American sailors by the British who were trying to impress them into service. Ultimately, James Madison decided the United States needed to halt trade with Britain, and that eventually became the embargo of 1809. In 1808, Madison succeeded Thomas Jefferson as President of the United States, winning by a wide margin. James Madison's wife, Dolly, was known as a party giver. She was 21 years younger than the president. It's no surprise to hear that the first ever official inaugural ball occurred in 1809, following Madison's inauguration. He was the smallest man ever to occupy the executive mansion. I think he was five feet four and never weighed 100 pounds, dripping wet. During Madison's second term in office, relations with Britain devolved into what is now known as the War of 1812. By 1814, the British had actually come right into Washington and started burning down the city. James Madison fled the capital. In 1815, the Treaty of Ghent was signed, ending the war. When Madison left office two years later, the country was prospering. James Madison is really the architect of our founding ideals. James Madison died on June 28th 1836. Because of James Madison, we have the system of checks and balances, we have modern judicial review, and we have the Bill of Rights. That's the legacy of James Madison.